This family is leaving their home near Jerusalem for greener pastures. But they're worried. Their new home is on the border with Lebanon. My fear is that, God forbid, a war will break out, and it's not like you're in the center of Israel. You are situated just seconds from the Lebanese border, and it's not the best feeling. In May, the Israeli army destroyed a tunnel extending under the border with Lebanon. It had been built by the Iranian-backed Hezbollah and had been intended to infiltrate fighters into Israel. It was the sixth tunnel discovered. And it was far more technically advanced than the five other cross-border attack tunnels destroyed by the military in what was called Operation Northern Shield. Just behind me, you can see a building where residents here woke up in the morning and they came to find an unpleasant surprise. If you look here, what they found when they woke up was the entrance to a Hezbollah attack tunnel, something that the army filled in later. But you can see just how close that building is to the local farms. Here was the entrance to the tunnel in that building. In that building, in order to seal up the tunnel, they filled it with 340 truckloads of cement. This local farmer speaks of the imminent fear of living just adjacent to the barrier separating Israel and Lebanon. In the beginning, the Lebanese denied that the tunnel was there, but when they filled it with cement, the cement got to the other side in their village, so they couldn't deny it anymore. Some believe this border will be the next major conflict zone for Israel and a very hard battle against Hezbollah. But Moshe says the Lebanese are afraid of another war. In my opinion, they will refrain, but you can never know. And still, its picturesque view and warm family atmosphere attracts a family like this one to come live here. We will come live here because it's a beautiful place. There's water, there's nature, there's beautiful scenery. And I'm a little worried about the security risks, but my wife's family is here. Just behind me, you can see the Israeli northern town of Matula. It has about 2,000 residents, and they live here on Israel's border with Lebanon. You can guess that with the recent turmoil and Israel's operation to uncover undercover attack tunnels created by Hezbollah, they might feel an imminent sort of threat on their border. But truly, when we spoke to residents here, the feelings were mixed. Some said that they were really afraid of that uh, imminent threat and that the next war that Israel would face would be with Hezbollah. But there were others who said that they felt safe and secure in the hands of the IDF, the Israeli army that is consistently patrolling this border. Emily Rose, Israel's northern border with Lebanon, I-24 News.